So the last thing I'd like to do here is I'd like to show how the project reactor tests work. And this is yet another implementation using the uh, reactive streams framework, reactive streams API from, from Java 9. And this just uses project reactor mechanisms instead of RX Java mechanisms. As you'll see, they are very similar. Uh, this particular approach is going to uh, show off a couple different things. We're going to run with the common fork join pool, and we're also going to run using flat map, just uh, sorry, using the, the parallel scheduler that comes out of Project Reactor. So just running the same thing a couple different ways and uh, probably getting some different results. You'll also see that we also run parallel fluxes in a couple different ways as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at flat map first. So it should probably come as no surprise that the run flat map adapter method here, or kind of the facade, I guess you'd say, looks very much like the ones from Rx Java and Java Parallel Streams in that we check to see if we're logging or not. We run the timer and we go ahead and pass in the appropriate method that does the, the heavy lifting. This code here looks almost identical to what we saw earlier when we were taking a look at Rx Java in the sense that it's going to basically convert the list of URLs into an iterable, very much like what we did with with Rx Java, except this time we're going to use something called a flux. And a flux is very much like an observable. It has a few more features with respect to things like back pressure and so on. So there's really no need in Project Reactor to have three different classes, singles, observables, and flowables. Instead, we really have two classes, which are monos and fluxes. And fluxes basically can have zero or more elements in them that they can emit. So we create a flux of URLs. And then we use flat map. And what we do here is for each URL that we got from our list, we convert that into a mono. Whoops, don't need to do that. Just need to do this. This is a little cleaner. Um, so we say mono from callable, run this in the scheduler, and download and store the image. And this basically uses the same flat map. Concurrency idiom, we've looked at it with Rx Java, except now it's Project Reactor, but it's the same basic idea. And in this case, we use the collect list method, which is basically the same thing as saying collect and uh, collectors to list. We could do that too if we wanted to, if we wanted to. Oops. If we wanted to go ahead and get that guy uh, read in here. Let's see, what do I want to do? There we go. So we could do it that way as well. I kind of prefer collect lists because it's just a little bit more concise, but either one works. And then when everything works, we go ahead and print the results. And then with Rx Java, with, sorry, with Rx Java, we had something that was called blocking subscribe. There's no equivalent mechanism called blocking subscribe in Project Reactor, but block does basically the same thing that blocking subscribe did, just slightly different syntax. And this will block until all the processing is done. So that's the test download flat map method. Then we also have one here that is called test download parallel flux. And this is very much like the one we looked at before, which was the parallel flowable from Rx Java, in that they have baked in parallel processing into Project Reactor in a way that, that doesn't require you to know, that, to know this concurrency idiom using flat map. So here's what it looks like. It's very simple. We convert the list of URLs into a flux of URLs. We set the parallelism level uh, to whatever we want it to be. And then we tell it to run on the designated scheduler. And in this case, that will then allow all, this processing of the map call, the map operator will then run in parallel in these different rails that are running with the parallel flux. And when those are all done and finished processing, then we use sequential to kind of merge everything back together again, not merge together, but just to kind of like a barrier synchronizer to wait till all the processing is done. We collect the results up into a list, and then we print the results and use block to wait until we're done. So again, this is the project reactor way of doing parallel processing. Um, I'm actually 
somewhat partial to just doing the flat map concurrency idiom because I, I remember how to do that easier. But if you like using the, the parallel constructs, they're arguably a little bit more syntactically concise. And so, you know, feel free to use whatever you like. I am not really sure how much the performance differs. I wouldn't really trust the results here because of the fact that it's running over this shared network where we're zooming at the same time I was running the test. But if we were to do this over a high speed network with nothing else in the background perturbing the results, we'd probably get more accurate results here. Okay, so that's the end of our discussion of these three different ways of doing the parallel processing or concurrent processing, one using parallel streams, one using a couple of different variants of RxJava, and the other last one using a couple of different variants of Project Reactor.